Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Animal Figure Hunter and today we'll be looking at the Japanese exclusive Kitan Club Ikimon Micro Animal Figures. Now just like the name Micro, these figures are extremely extremely small. And these figures are all one piece which means you don't have to snap anything together and they're made out of solid good quality plastic. So the first figure we're going to be looking at is the Japanese Raccoon Dog otherwise known as the Tanuki and you also may recognize this animal from if you've ever played Super Mario Bros. 3 and one of the levels he can appear in a Tanuki suit. So this is where they get the inspiration from. So each of these figures comes with a cardboard base. It's about the size of a small coin. And it's got the name of the figure in Japanese. So you can place the figure on the base if you want, or you can just display it separately. Next figure we have is the Japanese Weasel. So this is what it looks like and these figures are really well sculpted for the size and really detailed. Let's see if I can focus a little bit on the head so you can see what nice job the sculptor did. You can see how tiny this is. It's very detailed. All right, the next one we have is the Red Fox. So this figure is just in a not too aggressive, just a normal standing pose. And the next one is the Japanese hair. So there are two hairs. We've got the gray and the white hair. Um, these are the short printed figures in the set. So they're not as easy to find. And the gray hair is what the, uh, the coat of the rabbit is or the hair has in the summertime. And the white coat here is the same hair, but uh, just in its winter coat. So you got the two Japanese hairs. Really beautiful, really detailed and miniature figures. And these ones are the short printed ones. And you can see on the bases as well. So for the summer hair, it's got a nice uh, summer background. And for the winter, you've got a winter background on the base. All right, next we have another of the short printed figures in the set. We have the Japanese spotted deer, otherwise known as the Sika deer or the Japanese deer. So this one is in its summer coat. And we have the winter coat over here. And as you can see for the winter coat, the deer oops, is missing its spots. So that's what happens uh, in the winter time. The spots get kind of muddled away. And for these figures, uh, when you first get them, sometimes they're not easy to stand, but their legs are bendable. So what you can do is uh, they won't break or they won't snap. So you can just kind of bend them a little bit like this and they will slowly go back to their original pose. But this way it gives them a chance to stand on the base. So if they're not standing, all you got to do is just bend the legs a little bit and then it'll stand. Alright, next figure we have 
is the Japanese boar. So this kind of reminds me of an animal from Lord of the Flies. If you've ever read the book. So you see this figure, it's got the nice details. The tusk. And he's just in a normal standing pose. Next we have the Asian Black Bear. It's got many other names such as the uh, Asiatic Black Bear or otherwise known as the uh, Moon Bear. And I believe he may also be called the White Chested Bear because of that white uh, patch that there he has on his chest. Um, not 100% sure, but uh, from what I recall, it does also have that name. And the last one, one of my favorites from this set, because of its color pattern, is the copper pheasant. So this is the only bird in the set. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Put my hand here, you should be able to see it better. There we go, take a look at that. These are all hand painted, look at the detail on it. The feathers, it's a beautiful, beautiful figure. Check that out, it's even got the feet at the bottom. So that's the copper pheasant. All right, so these are the uh, 10 figures from the set. This is the first time that uh, Kitan Club, otherwise known as Ikimon, has done micro figures. So even though their normal figures are originally very small, these are even smaller, about half the size. Um, but they're still detailed and uh, very awesome to display. All right, so uh, tell me what you think about these figures in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.